Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. Today we will see important multiple choice questions from the chapter Biphasic Liquid Dosage Form Suspension. From the chapter Suspension. So we can move to the first question of this video. The range of particle size in suspension is the range of particle size in suspension is options are 0.5 to 10 micron 0.5 to 5 micron 1 to 3 micron 3 to 10 micron the range of particle size in suspension the correct answer for this question is option b 0.5 to 5 micron in this question we have to study the same thing range of particle size but in emulsion emulsion not in the part not the size of particle it's actually the size of globule in emulsion in suspension solids are mixed in liquids but in emulsion two liquids are two liquids are there two liquids are mixed each other in emulsion the particle size or globule size is ranges from 0.25 to 25 micron okay here in the suspension the particle size is 0.5 to 5 micron while in suspension sorry while in emulsion it is 0.25 to 25 micron suspension solids in liquids in emulsion liquids in liquids itself next question question number two to mask the bitter taste of chloramphenicol chloramphenicol it is made into salt of to mask the bitter taste of chloramphenicol it is made into the salt of options are palmitate succinate sodium oleate that is chloramphenicol palmitate chloramphenicol succinate sodium chloramphenicol or chloramphenicol oleate the correct answer for this option this uh, question is palmitate chloramphenicol is made into the salt of palmitate to mask the bitter taste now we will move to the next question question number three the sediment which is difficult to redisperse the sediments formed is difficult to redisperse in options are suspension option b emulsion option c flocculated suspension option d non -floc non flocculated suspension question was sediment which is formed is difficult to redisperse difficult to redisperse so suspension emulsion flocculated suspension non flocculated suspension the correct answer for this question is sediment is difficult to redisperse in non flocculated suspension so suspensions are mainly two types flocculated and non flocculated flocculated and non flocculated these are the two different type of suspension the main difference between these two are in flocculated suspension loose aggregates are formed in case of flocculated suspension but in the case of non flocculated suspension particle existing as separate entities in non flocculated it is exist as separate entity while in flocculated it is existing as loose aggregates the other difference flocculated suspension in flocculated suspension rate of sedimentation that is rate of sedimentation is high in case of flocculated suspension non flocculated suspension rate of sedimentation is low sediment is very rapidly formed since it is sedimentation rate is high in case of flocculated suspension sediment is rapidly formed while in case of non flocculated suspension the rate of sedimentation is low so sediment is slowly formed 
sediment is easily redispersible in case of flocculated suspension when it is shaking the flocculate in flocculated suspension sediment is easily get redispersed while in case of uh, non flocculated suspension sediment is difficult to redisperse sediment is loosely packed and does not form hard cake in case of flocculated suspension there is no cake formation in case of flocculated suspension while it is difficult to redisperse in case of non flocculated suspension and also hard cake is formed in non flocculated suspension supernatant and liquid supernatant and liquid is very clear in case of flocculated suspension while in the case of non flocculated suspension it is not that much clear supernatant and liquid is not that much clear now we will move to the next question question number 4 flocculating agents will flocculating agents will options minimize the flocculation maximize the flocculation no action on flocculation sometime minimize sometime maximize when we are reading this one flocculating agent we it will come to our mind that it will maximize the flocculation but the correct answer for this question for the this question that is flocculating agent will minimize the flocculation the correct answer is option a it will minimize the flocculation by reducing the surface tension so example for example for flocculating agents are example for flocculating agents are sodium lauryl sulfate that is anionic surfactant sodium lauryl sulfate sodium lauryl sulfate then twins spans spans twins then carbo waxes etc are the examples carbo waxes are the example for flocculating agents sodium lauryl sulfate spans twins carbo waxes so it will flocculating agent will minimize the flocculation now we will move to the next question question number 5 compound drug canth powder contain compound drug canth powder here it is compound drug canth powder compound drug canth powder is a thickening agent which is used in case of for the formulation of suspension it is a thickening agent compound thickening agent thickening agent will increase the viscosity and minimize reduce increases the viscosity of the continuous phase thickening agent will increase the uh, viscosity of the continuous phase that is compound drug canth powder is the example for thickening agent it contain acacia drug canth sucrose all of the above correct answer is all of the above this compound drug canth powder contain the composition of compound drug canth powder is acacia 20% acacia is the and drug canth is 15% drug canth then starch is there starch 20% 20% okay 20% of drug i mean stars 20% of acacia then 15% drug drug canth and sucrose is also there sucrose is also there so this is the compound drug canth powder which is used as a thickening agent to increase the viscosity as so the this solid particles will be suspended for long time in the suspension next question question number 6 sedimentation molium this one sedimentation molium is sedimentation molium is option a hu by h0 ho by hu c ho by hu into 100 hu by ho into 100 here hu means ultimate height ultimate height ultimate height ho means initial height initial height initial height so here sedimentation volume it's represented by f f is equal to the correct or uh, the equation for finding out the sedimentation volume is h f is equal to hu by ho hu by ho that is ultimate height divided by initial height of the 
suspension ultimate height of the sediment divided by initial height of the uh, suspension this is sedimentation this is um, used for finding out the stability of the suspension stability of the suspension sedimentation volume is used for finding out the stability of the uh, suspension for the stable suspension if we are drawing a plot of sedimentation volume versus time versus time the for the stable suspension the graph will be it's horizontal or with less curvature with the less steep curve there is no curve like this it will be a small increment like that or it will be horizontal so f is the f versus time will be given horizontal curve horizontal line for the stable suspension that is the important of sedimentation volume now we will move to the next question question number seven in suspension thickening agents are in suspension thickening agents are thickening agent example we already studied one is compound tragacanth powder compound tragacanth powder that is one example so thickening agents are dash type of colloid the correct answer for this one is thickening agents are hydrophilic hydrophilic not hydrophobic not both a and b none of the above the correct answer is option a hydrophilic is the correct answer so we will study some ideas regarding the thickening agents thickening agents are classified into thickening agents are classified into mm, this one polysaccharide polysaccharide then inorganic agent inorganic agent then the last one is synthetic agent synthetic compound polysaccharides inorganic agent synthetic compound these are the thickening agent three classes of thickening agent in case of polysaccharide this is again classified into natural polysaccharide natural natural and semi synthetic semi synthetic in semi synthetic examples are methyl cellulose methyl cellulose in semi synthetic methyl cellulose micro means uh, sodium carboxy methyl cellulose sodium carboxy methyl cellulose etc are the example for semi synthetic while natural acacia tragacanth acacia tragacanth and tragacanth powder all are coming under natural acacia tragacanth are coming under natural in case of inorganic examples are clay clay is one of the example another one is aluminium hydroxide aluminium hydroxide aluminium hydroxide is another example for inorganic now the last one synthetic synthetic are carbomer carbomer is one of the example another one is colloidal silicon dioxide colloidal silicon dioxide are the example for synthetic compound so what we studied thickening agents are classified into three classes polysaccharides inorganic compounds then synthetic compound polysaccharides are again classified into two types natural semi synthetic natural examples is acacia tragacanth semi synthetic example is methyl cellulose and sodium carboxy methyl cellulose now the inorganic inorganic examples are clay aluminum hydroxide clay and aluminum hydroxide then synthetic examples are carbomer then colloidal silicon dioxide are the example then now we will study the evaluation of suspension stability of the suspension evaluation technique for finding for the stability of the suspension evaluation evaluation for evaluation different methods used is one is sedimentation method that is using the sedimentation volume that we discussed before sedimentation method using sedimentation volume f is equal to h u by h o that we already 
discussed this one in the previous question. Now the second method for the evaluation method is micrometric method. I am just telling the name only micrometric method. Micrometric method. Third one is rheological method. Rheological method. And the fourth one electrokinetic method. Electrokinetic method. Electrokinetic method. So these are the different four type of evaluation technique for the stability of the uh, suspension. One is sedimentation method that is fi by finding sedimentation volume. This is very important sedimentation volume and the uh, next method is micrometric method and rheological method, electrokinetic method. So hope you understood all these questions. Thank you guys for watching this video and thanks.